welcome to St. Teresa News. I'm Luke and... And I'm Colin. And we're your host for this week. Just one update. Nam's iPad was found, everybody. No need to keep looking. Now we will hand this over to Haley and Kinley with the weather reports. I hear it's going to get cold out there. And more snow. Hi, I'm Kinley. Hi, I'm Haley. And, and we're, we're on, on weather, weather this week. week. Looks like the weather's going to be pretty good this week. We have a high of minus two, which is really good for November. Enjoy the beautiful weather. See you next time. Bye. Bye. And here on sports this week is Brayden and Hank. I hope it's still volleyball. Munch? What's happening right now? They're uh, playing Fortnite soccer. Oh, that's cool. Bye. See you later. And here is Eddie, Faith, and Ainsley with jokes this week. Hi, I'm Ainsley, and I have a joke for you. What did the leopard say when he finished lunch? I don't that know. That just hit the spot. <laughs> Hi, I'm Faith, and I have a joke for you. What do you call a fly with no legs? I don't know. A walk. <laughs> Bye. Bye. And here on Social Smarts this week with Miss Murphy and her team, me, Madison H., Peyton, and Shay. Hi, I'm Colin. And, and we're on Social Smarts this week. Today's video is about taking risks and pushing yourself to the limits. It can be scary. Sometimes it's scary, and at the end, it's better. I took a risk when I went rock climbing, and now it's my favorite thing to do. Hi, I'm Colin, and I took a risk when I said grace in front of like my huge family, like about 50 people. Like, I felt really scared, my breath was shaky, but when I finally did it, I felt really happy inside. And now I could eat and fill my belly. Hi, I'm Peter, and I took a risk by doing a barrel race on my friend's horse. I was running around the barrels, and I was so close to falling off. Special events. And here is Payson and Shay. Woo, events! Remember, no screaming in the halls. Remember, take your milk and take care of it and try to drink it. Thanks, bye! Mr. Birch asks questions each week with help from some students. What's your name? Stephanie. Stephanie, if you were principal of our school, what would you do? I would have recess. Recess every morning for all morning. I like it. This is Mr. Burst with St. Teresa News and our question of the week. First of all, tell us your name. Mrs. Murphy. Mrs. Murphy. Our question of the week is, if you were principal of this school, what would you do? Ooh, I would have extra recess for sure. Awesome, I like it. Extra recess. And what is your name? Sullivan. Sullivan, if you were principal of this school, what would you do? Every two weeks, make one week off of school. So only come to school every other week? I like that. I think the teachers would like that too. What do you think? No, but all the weeks that we have off is PD day. Oh, I agree. So the <laughs> teachers would have to come for PD day. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. This is Mr. Birch with St. Teresa News and our question of the week. First of all, tell us your name. My name is Katie B. Katie B. If you were principal of this school, what would you do? Um, I would 
Oh, buy a lot of candy and give it to the students. I like it. What about the teachers? Would you give the teachers candy too? Yes. I like it. Oh, hey, what's your name? Tate. Tate. If you were principal of the school, what would you do? Um, Passing out candy to all the kids? I like it. Oh, good. What's your name? KDS. KDS. If you were principal of this school, what would you do? I would have to say probably make the school bigger and make the playgrounds bigger. Oh, make the school and playgrounds bigger? I like that. Yeah, so we can have a lot of space. And what is your name? Gabe. Gabe, you have a special day coming up, don't you? What's the special day that's coming up? My birthday. Your birthday. And how old are you going to be, Gabe? Eight. Oh, so you're seven turning eight. I like it. So, Gabe, if you were principal of this school, what would you do? I hear all of the teachers, so it would just be students and no teachers. Yeah, no Don't you teachers. think it would be a little crazy? Yeah. Okay, would you keep the vice principal or fire the, fire the vice principal too? Uh, I would keep the vice principal because if the kids are naughty, they're kicked out. What if the vice principal doesn't want to be here if there's no teachers? Just too. Okay. <laughs> That's so funny. This is Mr. Birch of St. Teresa News, and our question of the week. First of all, tell us your name. Sophia. Sophia. Here's our question. If you were principal of this school, what would you do? I would make a Oh, if there's no food and lunch, you give them food. That's a great idea. And what is your name? Shaylin. Shaylin, if you were principal of this school, what would you do? The same. The same. Give food to kids who don't have food. I like it. What is your name? Otto. Otto, if you were principal of this school, what would you do? Uh, teach kids not to throw snowballs. Teach kids not to throw snowballs. Did it snow today? Yeah. It did. <laughs> What's your name? Evan, if you were principal of this school, what would you do? How about we give the vice principal a pay raise? <laughs> yeah, what else would you do as a principal? What's your favorite subject? Do you like recess? Yes. Would you have like recess all the time? Yes. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Hi, this is Mr. Birch with St. Teresa News and our question of the week. First of all, tell us your name. Yefram. Yefram. Our question of the week is, if you were principal of this school, what would you do? What is your favorite time at school? What's your favorite subject or what is the favorite thing to do at school? Gym. Gym? So if you were principal, would you like make gym class happen all the time? Yeah. I like it. What is your name? Kaylee. Kaylee, if you were principal of this school, what would you do? We would go on field trips every day. Go on field trips every day. Is there a field trip that you would really, really like to go on? On field trips, we will go to World Water Park. Oh, World Water Park, I like it. What is your name? Larson. Larson, if you were principal of this school, what would you do? Um, uh, Hi, this is Mr. Birch with St. Teresa News. First of all, tell us your name. Ila. Here's our question of the week. If you were principal of this school, what would you do? You would what? I would make this. Oh, would you? okay. And what is your name? Valeria. Valeria, if you were principal of this school, what would you do? I don't know. What is your favorite subject at school? Going outside. Going outside. Would you, if you were principal, would you say recess all day long? I like yeah. that. <laughs> what is your name? Keon. Keon, if you were principal at our school, what would you do? Halloween. You would have Halloween all the time? I like it. And what's your name? I'm, I'm four years old in the, because I, I go in the church and play daddy's phone. Oh, you'd go to the church? 
Awesome. Nice job. And your name is Echo, right? Thanks, guys. Hey, this is Mr. Birch with St. Teresa News and our question of the week. First of all, tell us your name. Felicia. Hi, Felicia. Our question of the week is, if you were principal of this school, what rule would you get rid of or put in place for our school? Or what cool thing would you tell us, say that students have to do? Are there any rules you don't like at our school? How about recess all the time? Would you tell them that they have to have recess all the time? Maybe. What else? What else do you think? Oh, you think about it, I'll come back, okay? Okay, what's your name? Colt, if you were principal at this school, what rule would you get rid of? Or what would you say everybody has to do? Have fun and learn education. Awesome, have fun and learn education. I like it. What's your name? Grayson. Grayson. If you were principal of this school, what rule would you put in place or get rid of? Everybody get 10 recesses. Everybody get 10 recesses. I like it. 10 or 7. And what is your name? Eustina. Eustina. If you were principal of this school, what would you do? Ukrainian school, yeah, and I can say everybody go and like to eat only Ukrainian food. Oh, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Ukrainian food. Did you have a chance school. to think about it? What would you say? Have fun. Have, fun. Art. have art. Oh, nice. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. See you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Just don't break it, though. <laughs> Bye.